I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. I think the Chief went the other way, sir. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! No, yeah! Good. There was no need to harm them. Hold on, hold on. No. Shh, boy. Shh. talk if you want, Mr. Morgan, but don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So, you were saying? Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and... This ain't easy to say, but... I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once. Years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was, too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid. Nineteen. What happened? Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well.
Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. You were saying before. I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Rob hey. shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that. You don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and... He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! Oh. They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinook. Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Okay. Let's continue on. Who would do such a thing? Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. <laughs> An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Look there! Smoke! Hmm. 
Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Yeah, you all right there, boy? <laughs> You're a good boy. Easy boy. was trying to get him transferred. I don't like him much. He always seemed like a decent enough fellow to me. Exactly. That's the problem. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. Just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle made it. I think I saw someone. Who's there? Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who...